Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a double ring reveal from Fragrant Jewels. This is their Desert Vibes 2.0 bath bomb and candle set. This is for my Inner Circle membership, and it is considered a rare. And I remember when they first started doing rares, they had Desert Vibes. And I don't remember what was different about it than the 2.0 set. I think the bath bomb was actually in a cactus shape. If you guys remember, leave me a comment. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. But I think the candle still looked like this. But like I said, I never got that one. It's probably one of the only rares that I could think of that I didn't get. But the candle, when I first smelled it, didn't smell like anything. It kind of smelled like lipstick. Um, when I started burning it, really, really faint scent. It wasn't until I put on the warmer and completely liquefied the candle where I could smell it more, but it was still a very, very subtle scent. So I'm not sure if that's how the original was or if this candle's old or what, but um, I didn't get a card or any kind of fragrance note. So unfortunately I can't tell you what it was supposed to smell like, but I thought the ring was pretty cool. It has a little cactus on it and a purple stone. It's the same kind of purple stone that they used with the snow bath bombs where the bottom's actually painted, but they kind of closed up the gap underneath it. So it's just a little tiny hole that you can see through. That's kind of interesting. And the bath bomb, to me, it looked like one of the Northern Lights bath bombs. Nothing too exciting. It would have been really cool if it was a cactus. But um, this one was a good bath bomb. It started off real foamy like they have been lately. But once that foam kind of came off or got away, this bath bomb took forever to dissolve. Like forever. It was probably in there 20 minutes before I decided to take it out and just break it open. Because the water was getting cold and I was really impatient. I even went to my computer and was answering like comments or something on YouTube. And then I was like, oh crap, the bath bomb. Went back in there, still hadn't popped. It was, it was just still zooming around the tub. Um, but I do like the colors. It eventually does get kind of active and colorful, but it takes a little while for it to get started. Not sure what it is about their formula that they change that makes it real foamy like that. And then whenever that goes away, it kind of goes back to how their bath bombs used to be, where it'll move a little bit around the tub and spray out some color. So this one had the kind of like a teal, pink, purple, a little bit of blue. The water was very pretty. The best part of it is probably when it gets down to about half the bath bomb, it tends to slow down and pour out more color and be more colorful. Or you can start to see some of the rainbows of color in the water when it rocks back and forth. And again, I don't know the fragrance notes, but this one was a lot more fragrant than the candle. It was pretty powerful. Um, I think it smelled pretty fruity. If I had to guess, I would say they're like all fruity notes. I didn't smell like an undertone of like musk or vanilla or a lot of their favorite floral type things that they add in with their bath bombs. It was just a good smelling bath bomb. And the ring for the candle, I forgot to mention, that did appraise for $25 with 25 reward points. So that one wasn't a winner. But it was a newer code. The new codes now have like a year range instead of a season on it. Here's the last little part. Kind of just looks like a comet or something shooting around the tub. Very colorful. And I was thinking it was going to pop and the ring container would float on top of the water at any second. And it just kept going, which is kind of funny. Some of them fizz out real quick. Some of them last forever. And this is perhaps my favorite part. Just that last little bit looks really cool in the water. I went to go lift it up just to see, because sometimes there's just hardly any on it. And I was like, nope, there's still a chunk on it. So I just went ahead and broke it off. The water is a really awesome blue color, like a, almost like a Hawaiian punch, like the blue Hawaiian punch. That's what it looked like. 
And we got another cactus ring, but it's a different style. And of course, if you had to guess, you'd probably know this one's my favorite because it doesn't technically connect in the middle. And it has a couple little clear stones on the cactus. I don't know if you can see it that well, but the underside of the stone again is painted. And it's a brownish color. And I like this one a lot better. I like that the circle's kind of up in the corner. It almost looks like a, a moon or supposed to be like a sun or something. I don't know. This one was my favorite, but leave me a comment below. Let me know which one you liked. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.